everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Emma and I make style, how-to, outfit ideas, videos and clothing hauls. I don't actually shop at Zara very regularly at all because I find the website really quite difficult to navigate. So I really wasn't quite sure what sizes to pick. I don't really know Zara's sizing very well. So let's start with the dress that I'm wearing now. So this is something that I was really really excited to arrive and actually I thought this was going to be a dead set. Like I thought I would absolutely Absolutely love this dress but actually I'm really quite disappointed I don't know how well you can see but I've styled it with my Stradivarius mules my blue ones the reason that I'm just a little bit disappointed is because it's just not as flattering on my shape as I thought it would be I thought it would be absolutely perfect and this is the struggle of having an hourglass figure like even if you follow all the rules that are set out for dressing for your body shape often when you put something on it just won't work and there's really no logic behind why that item doesn't suit you but I just feel that this is one of those items where it should suit my figure really really well but it just doesn't. It is a really really nice length, I can wear it with flats as long as I make sure that I maintain really good posture but I have popped it on with a little heel just so that it's not really close to the ground. I'm five foot and half an inch so <laughs> if you're only taller than me it won't be quite as long as this you probably are a lot taller than me because most people are. It's such a lovely timeless design, but I just feel like it's a miss. Guys, I am breaking all the rules here around dressing for your hourglass figure, but I absolutely love this dress. So I got this because it really reminded me of a dress that Carrie Bradshaw wears in Sex and the City. It's actually tie-dye, which is not me at all, but white and pink tie-dye I think works really nicely because it just kind of makes it look like a floral dress even though it isn't. And I did have a little look with a belt as well to see how that looked and I did kind of like that but actually I really like the really relaxed style of this. It doesn't give me much shape, <laughs> but I think because it's quite a clingy material I think the silhouette doesn't really matter so much because it does still show a little bit of shape. It is quite long, I've kept the blue mules on, not because I think that they go particularly well with this dress, but just because that's probably the style shoe that I would wear with this kind of dress. Carrie would definitely have worn it with a heel, so I'm going to do the same. I've paired it with my River Island kind of Gucci ripoff <laughs> belt, which I think goes really quite nicely with it because it's got the little pink flowers so it picks that up in the dress and actually I do quite like how this looks with the belt around it as well. I feel like adding a waist belt to everything is going to come back really really soon because all the 90s and noughties styles of clothing are coming back now and I remember in the noughties I would always add an elasticated, a wide elasticated waist belt so literally everything I wore didn't have to be a dress, it could just be a shirt or a top. This is just so flowy and beautiful that I think it doesn't really need it but I do like how the belt makes it look as well so that's really great that you've got options. And we have moved on to a very very pink dress, again in that same camisole style, it reminds me very much of the 90s and of Sex and the City, particularly Harry Bradshaw. And I'm not as much of a fan as I was with the other one. It is shorter, it's kind of ankle length on me, so I have worn it with flats just to show that you can, and I feel like these dresses are all a really nice length, but they actually do make you look a little bit taller, which is lovely. But I'm not very keen on this dress, I think the fabric is way too clingy. It's not really, really clingy, and actually I did get a medium in this. I didn't size down, whereas with the one that you just saw, I did go to a small. Obviously, if I'd done the same with this, I think it would be way too clingy, but I can I can get away with it in this style. But I mean, I carry a lot of my weight on my legs, and as you can see, it's kind of pulling around that area. Um, and also, it's doing a really weird thing under my bra. Like, it's my bra is like casting a shadow, or my boots are casting a shadow, and it's like creating this like line. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it just looks a bit a bit weird. It makes them look like square, <laughs> which is really odd. Um, but I do still really like the silhouette. I think again, it's a quite a shapeless style, but because they're in quite clingy fabrics, it's okay. It still shows a bit of shape, which is nice but I think it just is a little bit too clingy. I think it makes it look a little bit more cheap, dare I say. Um, and also the colour I think is just a bit too bright. I do like it, I think it's a nice pink, but it's probably just a little bit too bold for me. I prefer a much more neutral wardrobe, I prefer blush pinks. Although Elle Woods Legally Blonde, she would wear this pink. This is an, this is an Elle Woods pink. So if you're into Legally Blonde, 
and you really like Elwood's style, then maybe this one's for you. And it's a little bit more affordable. It is $17.99, which is amazing for a dress. And honestly, it's still really, really nice. I do like it. It's just considering the amount of items that I've ordered, <laughs> I can't keep everything. So I think this one will probably be going back. But I do think it's really nice if you're looking for an affordable holiday dress, I think this would be perfect. Another pink dress for you. So this one, I knew that I would love the style. This silhouette really suits my figure. I think it's really flattering on most body shapes. It's really this sheared material, or shirt material, uh, really shows off your shape and then it's like an A-line style that then is just so flattering on so many different figures. I think it's a really wearable style as well and it feels such, such nice quality and I think this was again a really affordable dress I'll just see if I can check the label so it's £29 and I think that is a really good price for this dress which is a lovely length you can wear it with flats as I am showcasing here I actually got it in an extra small so I took a bit of a risk sizing down two sizes so ordinarily I would probably go for a medium but I have had this style of dress before and I know that it looks better on me if I do size down so I went for the small but unfortunately it went out of stock before I finished processing my order because I kept like saving it and then going back to it and then <laughs> I was like I'll wait till payday and then I got too excited so when the small went out of stock I decided to take a risk and go for the extra small just because I've tried this silhouette before and I knew that it would probably be a risk that would pay off and thankfully it has I think it looks really nice it doesn't feel too tight anywhere at all and I have sized down two sizes so I think that is saying something I think that shows that this is a really lovely comfortable design and I think it is really flattering as well I also love this color pink so I mean to be fair it's not it's not that far off in terms of, well no actually this one is a little bit brighter, but this isn't like a blush pink, this is still quite a girly, almost like a Barbie-ish kind of pink, but I think it's really, really wearable and really, really pretty. This next dress is very, very similar in style to that last one, but in white, obviously. And I have to say, I don't love it as much. I don't know what it's doing to my bust area. I feel like the other one was really flattering on that area, but this one, makes them look a lot lower <laughs> than they are. They're sort of sitting sort of here and it makes them look like they're sitting down here. <laughs> so I'm not so keen on that and I'm not sure where that is. It may be that I've not tied these properly. So just to let you know, these Zimmerman style, well, they're not Zimmerman style, but there is a dress in this silhouette that Zimmerman did in recent years that this one reminded me of, but you do tie these yourself. So I was a bit worried that it would turn up and they would be like already tied and like stitched in place but you can tie them to make them as tight or as loose as you want to, which is great. I'm wearing it with flats again, just because I can, just to show you that you don't have to wear all of these dresses with heels. And actually all of these dresses have been really, really lovely lengths. I think the only one that I feel like I, I personally would have to wear with heels was the um, Carrie Bradshaw slip dress that I tried, but most people I think would probably be able to wear that with flats. But all in all, I think this dress is still absolutely gorgeous. I just don't really like what it's doing to my shape, but I think it's amazing amazing quality for the price. I checked the price and was like, what? Is that right? <laughs> because it was £29 and I just think this dress, for the quality that it feels, should not be £29. I think it should be a lot more. It is so, so nice. I did have a look at the material and it said, I couldn't find the English part so I just had to kind of work it out and it said 73% polyester, 10% elastane and 100% cotton and I was like, what? It is absolutely stunning. I think it's still a really, really gorgeous dress. I love that you can wear it with flats as well. I think this is really versatile and will work for loads of occasions. And also this dress and the pink one that's in a similar style, I think would both work really, really well for maternity wear. Maybe if you just have quite a small bump and you're not in actual maternity clothes yet, then these dresses would be so, so comfortable and cool in the summer months. Actually, I'm looking in the mirror and I do kind of like it. I think it's just not as flattering as the other one and to be fair. So you know that dress from Silk Fred that I was insisting I was going to be returning? I obviously kept. I just, oh, there were so many reasons for returning it and it is too long for me. I do have to wear it with heels, which is really annoying, but it's just so nice. And when I saw the try on clips, I thought, oh, it does look really lovely. And it's so swishy and flowy and oh, I just loved it. And it just made me feel really happy to own it. So, that's why I kept it. But that is another reason 
why I shouldn't keep this dress because I already have a long white dress. You'll never believe what's just happened. I was just trying these jeans on and I was like, no, no way, I don't like these, they're way too tight, they're really hard to get on. They do still have this label on, so maybe I can still return them and they won't they won't punish me. I don't want to keep these. These are the one thing that I tried on in this haul and was like, absolutely no way, I hate them. Well, I don't hate them. The style is really nice, so let me come back so that you can see. They're more ripped than I thought they were. They didn't look this ripped in the picture. And I've paired them with this, which is also part of the haul. So this is a little white crop top with this kind of sweet hot neckline. Oh my goodness, I forgot how Busty, I am when I'm wearing this style of bra. <laughs> this is not really me. I'm really sucking my tummy in right now because I feel very uncomfortable like this. But they are nice jeans and I have rolled them up at the bottom because I felt like they were just a bit too long and they looked quite sloppy on me, but you can wear them unrolled. I just did that because I thought it looked better. If you remember my video from last week, ladies, and you know that if you are an hourglass, it's advisable to try and smarten up a more casual look with a pair of heels. So that is what I've done with these jeans. I did go for a size 14 and I'm kind of between a 12 and 14 on the bottom. So um, I would say that maybe size up even more. Um, so if you're kind of between sizes, think about going up a size from the larger size. Let's get out of this outfit really, really quickly. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go and put a shirt on top so that I can talk about the top a little bit more. Okay, so I actually bought this top to go under this shirt, which is like a chiffon material. So obviously it's quite sheer. So I did need something to go under and I thought, this would work really well. I do really like how it looks. Um, what I would normally do is like bottom it up and tuck it in, but I'm just kind of throwing it on, like almost like a jacket here, just for ease. But you get the idea. I do really like it. I'm, the jeans are putting me off the top, if that makes sense, because kind of everything's showing. But I just thought it would be nice to have a little top like this under this shirt, just because it is sheer, and I'm not quite brave enough to just wear a pretty bra under a shirt like this. But I do also think that in the summer, on a really warm day, this top would look really, really nice with my pink culottes. They come up quite high-waisted, so they won't show off as much flesh as um, the jeans are with this top. I do really like it. I love the neckline. I think it's really quite unusual. It's like a sweetheart neckline, but just a little bit more contemporary. I don't dislike the jeans. I just feel very exposed <laughs> at the minute because I'm, I mean, to be fair, I think they are meant to be high-waisted. I think it's just that they're too small for me, so they're not coming right up. I was gonna pair this black crop top with the jeans, but obviously this is a lot more cropped than that white top was and I already felt indecently exposed, so I decided against it. And then I was gonna go and get the pink lots that I just mentioned, but then I saw this lilac slip style skirt from H&M and I thought, ooh, is this outfit a little bit Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City? I think it is. I think this is really something that Carrie would have worn. So I think I will be exchanging this top because I really, really like the style. I love how it looks at the back. I love this detail here. I think where it's sitting in the back is where it's meant to be sitting on the front, but obviously Zara were not expecting such enormous bosoms to be squished <laughs> into it. It's such a funny range of sizes, this Zara order, because I've not really ordered from them before, so I didn't know whether their things came up small or came up big. Obviously that pink dress that I really loved was an extra small, this bralette is a large, so it <laughs> just goes to show you that online shopping is seriously a skill, like you really need to know what suits your different parts of your body and when to size up and when to size down. With bralettes, I do really, really struggle, to be honest, knowing what size to order, unless they are actual bra sizes. I'll have to see if I can exchange this, but I really hope that I can, because again, really, really nice quality. I thought it was just gonna be like an elastic one that you just pull on, but it does have a little zip at the side, which just makes it feel that little bit better quality. And I really like how it looks with this skirt. I'm loving my Sex and the City vibes today. I do have an idea for some Sex and the City inspired reels over on Instagram, and I'll probably pop them on TikTok as well. So if you're not following me over there, then make sure you are, especially if you're a fan of Sex and the City fashion. So that is the end of today's haul guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you decide to purchase anything. Everything will be linked in the description box below and let me know which were your favourite items from the haul and I will see you next Sunday at 9am. Bye!